everyone. Thanks again for tuning in to Sin's Workshop. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, today we're going to be unboxing my unplugged box. So, I already kind of peeked inside this box. Um, I was at work when the package arrived and it was kind of monsooning outside. So, my husband, as you know, as quickly as possible, he's probably outside for like 10 minutes, 5 10 minutes, it was, it got soaked. It got soaked. Um, the whole box got soaked. So he had to open it up to take out everything and, you know, save what he could. Um, so I live in Florida. It was like a really bad rainstorm. Like it was basically monsooning um, outside. It was bad. But you can see um, the box is kind of damaged. You know, this is, I, he put everything back in the box for me, but I kind of had to look inside to make sure things were okay. Um, I don't, I don't know what the book was like, though. I still don't, I mean, Unplugged really saran wraps their books, so. Yeah, you can kind of see this also got a little water damage. Oh, yep, pages stick together. All right, so this is the October uh, Young Adult subscription box from Unplugged. It's through the portal, so. All right, let's see. Oh, Right, so what is this? Ooh! Be wise, be brave, be tricky. Essence of Enchanted Bravely. Coraline. Ooh, that's good. And why am I holding it to you like you can smell it? You can't. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> Take my word for it. Look at these. I love their containers. Um, I love the embossing on them right here. That is really really well not that's not embossing that's laser printed on there that's really nice um this one's definitely stronger than last month's box which wasn't really that strong scent wise but super super lovely so there we go and the coraline candle made by the unplugged box this is the Phantom Under Eye Mask with Collagen. Oh my god, thank the gods. I just ran out of, like, my under eye. Yes! Under arm patches! Ho oh, ho. Yeah, you can bet I'm using these today. Look at that. They look really nice. I'm using these. I mean, the bags under my eyes have gotten so out of control. <laughs> I, no, that's not true. I, I didn't really sleep well last night. Um... Phantom of the Opera eye mask made by Apothecary. Bath Apothecary. Doo -doo -doo. I like it. I like it a lot. And it smells nice too. Alright, this is the bookmark. You can see it's a little warped because it's got water damage. Just a nice Halloween themed bookmark. Um, let's see. Made by Unplugged Box. And yeah, you can see this also got water damage. Uh, I love the rain, but man, did it have to... And it's no, no fault of the packaging and no fault of, you know, UPS either who delivered it. It was just, they left it as close to my door as possible, but it was raining so bad that there was... I, and I don't really have an arch where my door is, not really, so... Especially when it was like, I mean, water got in through underneath the door. I mean, that's how badly it was raining. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say it was basically monsooning. It was bad. But you can see, um, you know, everything got a little warped here, unfortunately. And this is the letter from the author. Let's see. If they have... Um, who designed the artwork for this? do 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 no okay so oh what's this the upside down hand and body lotion oh i love when they're sealed oh that smells nice that smells nice the label is a little hard to read because they're using that standard um stranger things font sorry i blanked on the name for a second uh let's the cloves, fiery embers, and spiced almonds. Yeah, that smells good. And that was made by 
Stranger Things Hand and Body Lotion, Natural Pure Honest. Oh, I do love their stuff. I do love their stuff. Every time there's something in here, love it. All right, this looks like a mat of some sort. So, let's see. Wizard of Oz Welcome Mat. Oh, that's cute. Typical Ghost designed it. Aw, I like it. I'm half tempted to use it, but also I don't want it to get ruined. But it looks like I could always put this in the washer if I really wanted to. So, did I properly show you guys? I did not. Here, this is what it looks like. Got the map of Oz. And then on this side, just some, it's, it's some embossed here. So for grip. And then I think this is the last item here, the Alice in Wonderland tablecloth. So, as you can see, nothing else other than those a few paper items got damaged. Thank God. This is nice. Aw, okay. So, I'll look up who designed this in just a moment. Designed by Novoya Designs. Hopefully they have a link. Um, I know Bath Apothecary. I can never seem to find like a proper link for those guys. I'll pull that up in a second. All right, the book. It's time for the book. Let's see. The book is Jester by Brielle D. Porter. All right. Jester is our book of choice of the month. This magical fantasy has a slightly creepy edge. Just all of the featured fandoms. Do, do, do. All right, so our exclusive copy has hardcover foiling and exclusive dust jacket and exclusive stencil edges. Um, plus, you continue to up your game. I am impressed. I am impressed. Before, they just kind of used to um, send out publisher versions that you could get at the store. Nothing bad about that. It's just, you know, you're really getting the box for a book and then all the goodies. Let's put the box right there. Put that there. Yo, and this was double wrapped too. Oh. The book is okay. That's the most important part. The book is okay. <laughs> Right, Comcat Books is the publisher. Yo, these stenciled edges. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. I love that white is like white, but it works. All right. Whoa. It's like a Joker card. <laughs> I love it. Yo, that is so cool. Oh my god. Joe Queen's Jester. Oh my god. I love it so much. That is cool. That is very, very cool. And I like the blue. The original cover is um, pink. I like the blue much better. Pink's not really my thing. Surprise, surprise. I wear it but it's not what I go for. This is cool. And of course, signs. See if there's any tip-in artwork here. No custom end pages, that's okay. Ooh, I still have to read the sequel to Goldspun and Contest of Quins. just making sure there's no tip in artwork anywhere okay doesn't look like it that's fine but this book super pretty and that foiling yo 
that was cool. <laughs> um, so in any case, thank you all for tuning in to this unboxing of my October Unplugged box. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Sin's Workshop. You can also become a supporter on Buy Me a Coffee or we're purchasing one of my handmade candles. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And as always, happy reading.